the hits of Hollywood find themselves immortalized at the Palace of Wax and Ripley's Believe It or Not in Grand Prairie, Texas. We try to offer something for everyone. Um, and we, of course, have Hollywood, uh, which is very popular. A lot of kids enjoy, even though they, they won't admit it, but they like to go through the horror section because they like to be scared with their friends. And uh, if you're in there with a large group of students, the, the screaming will almost overwhelm you. <laughs> Monsters all look mean, but the real magic happens behind the scenes. The Waxworks is where both movie stars and monsters are made. Um, what I'm currently working on is Michael Keaton. This is a wax pool fresh out of the mold. And this will be for Batman. And I'm also working on the Rat Pack right now. And I'm currently in the middle of making Dean Martin. This is a dried out clay head. This is the inside of a rubber mold, so this would be taken off of the clay head here. You can kind of see. So the mold is uh, screwed together and then I'll pour hot wax in through the bottom of the head, actually. And from that I get the wax pool. The realism of the wax sculptures comes not only from the wax, but from the tiny details that are added. And these are example, um, we use prosthetic glass eyes. These are handmade in Germany. And it's very similar to an eye that you would get if you had lost an eye and had to have a replacement. So if I get two. Being behind the scenes at Waxworks was certainly eye-opening. But to get the real science behind the magic, I decided on a more hands-on approach. Here at the Wax Hands booth, you get a chance to dip your hands and make your own wax figure. Now this wax isn't exactly like the wax that's used to make the wax figures that you see in the rest of the museum. This is a paraffin-based wax, which is actually different in that it's a petrochemical wax. It comes from petroleum. The crude oil that comes from the ground is made up of chains of hydrocarbons of varying lengths. The short hydrocarbon chains are used as gas fuels, like methane or propane, while the longer chains make up gasoline or fuel oil. The longest chains are solids, like Vaseline, tar, or the paraffin wax that you dip your hand in at the Palace of Wax. Other waxes are biogenic. That means they come from plants or animals, sort of like beeswax. People have been using wax for thousands of years to make figurines of gods, deities, and other rulers of their countries. For example, the Greeks used wax, beeswax, and other natural organic waxes to do things similar to what we do here today. So there we have it, one Devon Denny hand courtesy of the Palace of Wax.